Good morning, I'm Noko. Today is day five of our 30 day yoga challenge. If this is your first day joining, scroll down to the description below. You can go back to video one. You can subscribe, get all the videos every day to your inbox for 30 days and the bonus that comes with it. Uh, today we're doing yoga for shoulders and back. We're gonna stretch, we're gonna loosen up, but we're also going to strengthen um, those body parts. And today's affirmation is, I am grateful for my body. Because we tend to um, take it for granted to focus on what our body cannot do in yoga or uh, what we want our body to be able to do, but we forget to be thankful. And we tend to spend the day in our brain and the body's just following. So today in your practice, but also throughout the day, remember that you have a body. Remember what your body is allowing you to do. Let's get started. Okay, let's start either sitting down with the legs crossed, or if you're more comfortable sitting at the edge of your bed on a chair or um, on your knees, that's fine too. We're gonna start by warming up the shoulders. So I invite you to make simple, gentle circles with the shoulders. Today's also a day where we're gonna do a new breathing technique. Let's roll forward and let's alternate. So we kind of engage the spine as we're doing this. Reverse. So making two separate circles with the shoulders and going up and down, up and down. You should start feeling some warming up in your shoulders and your blood circulating towards those muscles. Hold it up and squeeze, 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 and drop. Nice. And we cross the arms, inhaling, we open. Exhale, we cross. And inhale, open. Exhale, cross. Again. One more. Nice. One arm across and grabbing the forearms, pulling gently and holding. And today's affirmation is I am grateful for my body. Because oftentimes, especially when we do yoga, we feel that there are so many things we cannot do. There are so many things we want to do. But we forget what our body is doing for us, what it's allowing to do. And then the rest of the day, uh, we don't think of our body. It's kind of like uh, having a brain <laughs> and the, bo the body follows. Right, so today the idea is to kind of remembering and being grateful for our body. All right, let's get into a child pose. So big toes together and let's bring the hips down. Let's reach forward. This is a great stretch for the low back, for the hips, for the shoulders. Take this moment to really feel and notice where you're holding tension and see if you can release the tension, just letting go without forcing. Maybe your hips are not coming all the way down, that's fine. Maybe you can bring your elbows down and just rest right here. And the next exercise, we're gonna just move freely. So there's no right or wrong position. We just want to move the spine. So we're gonna start inhaling and making a cat stretch. And a cow. Breathing in. Exhaling in cat. Inhaling cow. Exhaling cat. Adding on. So child pose again. And this way we're going to move freely. We're going to release the elbows. Release. We curl the tailbone. Bring the chest down. It's like a cow. 
Okay, inhaling, opening up. And then exhaling, we tuck the tailbone. We spread the shoulder blades. We tuck the chin under. Feeling the stretch really in those shoulder blades in the low back and all the way down. And again, inhaling, elbows down, chest down, chin down, coming up. I am grateful for my body. Exhaling, rounding everything, stretching everything. And moving with your own breath, inhaling as we open, as we are grateful for our body. Exhaling as we come back down. Let's do two or three more times at our own pace. And last one. Nice. Coming up on all fours, tucking the toes under. So we've warmed up the spine with those wave-like movement. We're going to keep doing this, but we're going to add some uh, strengthening for the spine. We tuck the toes under, we lift the knees, inhaling, exhaling, chest back. We're strengthening the upper back, the shoulders. Inhaling, center, exhaling back. So the hips are still low. Chest is moving towards the thighs, and we use the hands to push away from the floor. Inhaling center. Exhaling back. And from here, let's see if we can extend this just a bit more. If it's uncomfortable, we can open the feet wider. Remember, if it's morning time, we're still stiff. We don't want to force here. And we're going to do another wave here, another free moving. Don't think too much about what you're doing. Focus more on how it feels. So from here, we round the back. And back. Here, releasing. Hold it here. And child pose. Inhaling up. Placing the right foot between the hands. And here we want to come up. Shoulders straight up. Inhaling. Exhaling, we twist to stretch the low back. So instead of trying to open this arm here, see if you can twist from the belly. And left hand down. Again, twisting a little bit more, maybe. Wrapping this front foot, feet together. Inhaling, count. Hold it here for four, for three, for two, for one. Bending the elbows. See if you can tuck your elbows in rather than opening wide. And maybe you go just one inch down or a bit lower. For four, for three, for two. Can we come back up? And placing the other foot between the hands. Again, if you get stuck here, grab your ankle. Place your foot right here. Coming up with the spine, inhaling. This time we open the heart, squeezing the shoulder blades. Pushing the tailbone forward. Extending the arm sideways, inhaling. Exhaling, we twist without leaning back or forward. Really twisting with the belly more than anything else. And right hand to the floor. Hold it here for four, for three, for two, for one. Hands wrapping the front foot on all fours. Inhaling. Exhaling, cat stretch. Inhaling, cow. Exhaling, bow and hold it right there. For four, for three, for two, for one, one inch up. For four, for three, for two, 
Fold one and child pose. Rest right here. Feeling the length in the low back. And let's meet on our stomach. What I'd like to do here is kind of stretch the upper back and strengthen the upper back. Hands are wide open here, elbows pointing up. We press the feet into the floor, inhaling baby cobra only going as high as you're comfortable and we're using the strength of the arms to lift ourselves up exhaling down. two more inhaling up exhaling down one more hands underneath the shoulders coming up and meeting in either into a seated position or on our knees and I'd like to end today with a new breathing technique. Uh, we're going to do 4-4-4 four, 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 box breathing. So uh, it's basically moving on, adding on to what you learned so far. Before we're just inhaling in 4, exhaling in 4. We do the same thing but we add um, break in between. So we're going to inhale in 4, hold for 4, exhale 4, hold 4. Remember, if you're feeling dizzy, it means you have to stop and go back to your normal breathing until you feel comfortable trying again. It's very common when you first start doing breathing exercises. If you're more advanced, if you want to do 8, 8, 8, 8, that's another option. And I'll talk more about this box breathing the next few days. Let's start by exhaling all the air out of our lungs. Inhaling, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four, I invite you to close your eyes, inhale, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, and hold. Breathing in, hold, breathing out, hold, one more cycle, inhale, hold, exhale, hold, let's blink the eyes open, hands to heart center, and repeat to yourself, or we repeat out loud, I am grateful for my body. I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.